the shooting, I just want to offer my condolences to the people that lost loved ones. And uh, it's, it's a tragedy. Of course it is. But um, I did want to say that if the, if the shooter was an MK Ultra, he certainly is a fool. Because, I mean, what I'm involved with, what a lot of people are involved with, is trying to wake up people to Zionism and its power, both Christian and uh, Jewish. And, uh, you know, to do something like this, if the guy was even legitimate, like I said, not a Manchurian candidate or MK Ultra, uh, it, it's, it's absurd, completely absurd. It hurts the movement, which I consider what we do a movement because it's really waking and so soon because this is your neighborhood. Well, what was it like to come here and see what you saw? I uh, still can't even get over what it looks like now, uh, let alone uh, that morning. I was actually in bed having worked late uh, the night before, uh, and I heard a lot of noise that I thought was construction and immediately recognized automatic gunfire. I heard yelling that was not uh, recognizable as anything you'd hear in a neighborhood on a Saturday morning either. So I jumped up. Uh, try to figure out what was going on. I knew if I didn't find out, my phone would probably be ringing soon. Um, we have a physician response program, so I called into dispatch to see if there was um, an actual uh, staging area established, and they indicated there was, and there was an event occurring. We're learning more about one of the officers wounded in the synagogue shooting over the weekend. Officer Daniel Mead was one of the first responders who ran into the synagogue to try to save lives. He ended up getting shot in the wrist. He spent several days in the hospital. Lynn Hayes Freeland has a new look at what he endured. There was nothing special about Saturday morning. Diane Mead did what she always does, talk to her brother, Pittsburgh police officer Dan Mead, on the phone was I really didn't know if he was going to live from his from his description was I really didn't know if he was going to live from his from his description and the families of the 11 people who were killed on Saturday and among them was Dr. Richard Godfrey he was a 65 year old husband he's a brother a father a dentist he was known to many here as Dr. Rich he often volunteered his services and he was on the verge of retirement when he was gunned down. His family says his generous life will not be overshadowed by his senseless death. We sat down with two of his sisters last night. Honey, you are shaking. I know. I'm falling apart. <laughs> Honey, you are shaking. I know. I'm falling apart. <laughs> Honey, you are shaking. I know. I'm falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> 